Oh man, the drama don't stop. And we have a bit of a follow-up from the video we made here regarding Rant. Rezier was not a masterpiece from Mr. Triggered Senpai. Triggered Senpai lived up to his name. He got so triggered that apparently he went live last night and streamed his reaction to my reaction. But he privated the live video after ending stream because on YouTube, when you go live and you end a stream, you can have it published or you can delete it. Just like what I always do, you know, with this, you know, advertisement one. And for whatever reason, it got uploaded onto this channel. <laughs> I think that, um, I, 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 I don't know who It's A Boy is. I don't know if this is his alt account. If he's too scared <laughs> that like he privated the stream, his response to me and uploaded into an alt account. I don't know what that really says about you. That's, that's gotta be the most like pussy shit possible. But um, we do have the video here. I'm not gonna watch all of it. In fact, I'm not really gonna watch most of it because it's two hour, 26 minute video and it's most likely just gonna be this. Skip through the explained points. Insults, watching it sped up. And here's the thing, right? You're not here to have a conversation. Personal insults are only made when you have no argument about the talking points, right? Monkeys will devolve into personal insults and start throwing shit at each other when it's not a matter of conversation anymore. If he wants to you know, talk about the fucking points of the video, I would love to react to those, but it doesn't seem like that's pretty much it. And another thing that I really want to make it clear, this is racist, right? This monkey emoji, I don't know who Trigger Senpai is. I'm looking at this thumbnail and wondering if he's actually black. He's an anonymous rage baiter online. How am I supposed to know that he's black? Based on the way that he talks? Are you, supposed, are you, are you telling me right now that like, I'm supposed to racially profile him and oh, because of the way he talks, he must be black? That's crazy talk. That's so racist. If you took this as an insult, a personal thing, I truly apologize. If you don't know about the brand of my channel, when I say monkey, it's not what you mean. It's about how Geto Suguru sees, you know, those humans from Jujutsu Kaisen and calls them monkeys. It's kind of like Frieza to, you know, <laughs> maybe Frieza example is not very good. But in the essence, the definition of monkey to me is a human being who should have rational thought, who should be in control of their emotions that let their sins overcome them. Wrath, envy, greed, whatever. Funny because we're covering ReZero and it's all about that, right? If you as a human being get riled up and let these things override your rational thought and logical, you know, composition, I think you're a monkey because you're telling me as a human being, you cannot calmly control your emotions. And that's what I call people this, but this absolutely racist. I do not condone this at all. And rather than watching this entire video, and if he makes a video on his main channel about this, I'll probably react to it, maybe. But uh, before we do that, we're gonna play this. And I think something nice that we can do instead, rather than uh, get more mad and angry and stuff, because it's also just fun, right? It's just all fun at the end of the day. You know what we can do? We can celebrate our community. We can celebrate our community and talk about, you know, the different things that people are saying. I seriously have yet to find a video about how ReZero is so bad that actually makes good points because all I see are people who literally didn't pay attention to the story or can't understand what the characters are doing because they are self-inserting themselves into the character and getting mad because the character is not what they want them. True. A lot of people, I think, completely miss the point of ReZero. If you don't like Subaru because of the kind of person he is, that's perfectly fine, right? You don't have to like that show. If that character is cringe to you, that's a valid reason for you to hate it. But the video, if you actually watched it and listened to the talking points, I agree when he says, I don't like Subaru. And I said, fair. But I'm talking about the logical conclusions that he comes to when making the examples on why ReZero is trash. And if you didn't watch the video, then you don't understand. I think the main character, uh, main problem for casuals is how colorful ReZero might look. Uh, to another random harem anime to them, but little do they know it's one of the darkest shows out there. Maybe, maybe. All his roast against Subaru applies to Okabe too. Okabe, I think, was the character from Steinsgate that was brought up as an example to compare ReZero and Steinsgate, right? So true. Fact, I love Steinsgate, but Okabe is much more annoying. I'm suppressed, surprised, the argument of self-insert even exists. I don't want to be Subaru. 
No one does. His life sucks. He hates himself and he can't even kill himself. You don't want to be Subaru. I agree with this just a bit though. I don't think self insert means that you want to be Subaru through all of it. And maybe I'm wrong about the actual definition of self insert, but I assume that self insert pretty me much means like, go back. I thought that um, self insert meant that like you enjoy certain things about this character and you kind of pick and choose what you want. So if you like the whole aspect of Subaru being surrounded by, you know, girls and I don't know, like uh, what's an what's another really nice thing? I don't know. His life is hell. But you know what I'm saying? I thought that self insert isn't all about having absolute one to one, you know, like um, experiences as a main character. But I do definitely agree what you're saying. The typical is popular, so it should be for me, boy. It's not for me. Then it must be overrated trash. You do realize that it's traumatic to die and come back with all the memories you have in your last night. I think this is talking about the uh, whole, you know, return by death and how we can't abuse it. Kaka, I really admire you because I don't have the nerve to put up with these stupid baits. I'm going to leave the video playing in the background just so I don't script the YouTube analytics. I appreciate that, my man. He knows how the watch time shit works. Why would Subaru save the people who killed him? Simple answer, because he is the hero. Oh, this is one of the talking points regarding like, why would Subaru save Rem and Ram when they were trying to kill him before? They did kill him before. Well, it's because if you saw the actual show in Arc 2, you'd understand that Rem and Ram, they pretty much like save Subaru's life before all that crazy shit happens. And that's one of the talking points mentioned in the video that I call, you know, so stupid because you didn't watch the show or you're just being intellectually dishonest or you're just that dumb. The Undertale music is kind of ironic. That plot point is the same, at least in The Pacifist. I love when people say he doesn't try to go home. Well, motherfucker, well, how is he supposed to try to go home? Where is he supposed to go? Who is he supposed to ask? He does way too much because he imitates his father. Trying to be cool and talkative because he wants people to not leave him. Yeah, this is kind of talking about like Subaru's like um, tendencies to always just yell and be cringe and fuck up. But, you know, if you've seen you know, season two, we understand this. No, three episodes of the good haters. I recommend you watching reading one star reviews of ReZero and reading Mal ReZero reviews. All right, maybe one day. When someone is so stupid, it just makes you cry in pity. It's amazing you finished this video. What can I say? It's fun to watch these videos and just make money off of it. I remember watching this video. He actually made a second one after watching both seasons one and season two because there were so many people who commented on his first video that he couldn't make an accurate assessment of ReZero of only having watched the first half of season one. I think, again, haters are just grifting. They don't actually hate. Maybe they do, but the fact that he, like, dropped ReZero, picked it up, watched all of Season 1, then watched all of Season 2, and then made another video, it just tells me that these are just low-effort rage bait channels that have no content, they have no community. All they can do is latch on to hateful, spiteful tourists who only watch your video just because the title says the anime that they hate is also agreed upon there, but they don't actually watch the video. You don't create a community like that. Genuinely. I think that rage baits, right? And here's the thing. Let me show you. I love doing this. I always love just pulling up. I always love just pulling up fucking stats. Do you know why this channel gets 30k views a month? Do you know why my second channel is getting 200k? It's because I know how the algorithm works and how to create a community based on the interest of the audience. But Ragebait channels, what I've noticed, all of them are also anonymous, which is funny. Because obviously you're too much of a coward and a pussy to show your face, right? And they have no audience. The subs may grow, but these are empty tourists that are, again, simply there because they saw a title said, I hate ReZero. They click on it and they say true and leave. They don't watch the entire video. You don't create a community doing this. All you get is hateful tourists showing up to show support and then they're gone. They're not going to watch your other videos. They're not going to, they don't care about you. They only care that someone made content about an opinion that they have and then they're gone immediately. That's why a channel size of 7.8K is getting 30K views per month while my second channel is getting 200K. Let's not even compare the fucking main channel, right? But again, like if you're like all about rage baits, you got to understand, like, you will never build a community like that. You're just disingenuous grifters who are there for a simple click, but then there is no career. There's nothing made from it. Now, if you just want to do it for fun, nothing wrong with that. But I'm explaining to you the whole, like, business behind, like, if you're a rage bait channel, how do you actually make it grow to make it sustainable as, like, a living source of income? 
looked at this Trigger Guy Senpai's channel. Is he just another Young Defiant clone? Not really. Young Defiant says this show is bad because it's bad. Trigger Senpai actually has talking points, but they're incredibly wrong. It's completely wrong, just missing the point. So he tries a bit harder than Young Defiant. Doesn't like a single thing he watches, post almost exclusive videos shitting on whatever is currently popular. Yeah, because it's much easier to get views. Again, right? It's way easier to get views when all you're doing is eliciting like the... Uh... Oh, he's live right now. That's actually funny. Maybe he's watching this right now. But all these people can do is just like... Feed off of the hatred from other people, right? But like, that's all you're gonna do. This is like lazy effort content. And I'm not saying reaction content is high effort either. It's very lazy. But like, if all you're doing is the shitting, 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 and your takes are also like wrong, then like, what are you doing? You know that you can't make compelling content unless you're just trying to be contrarian for the sake of being contrarian to pick up on all these different hateful signals because let's, let's get serious, right? Hating something will get more views and clicks and engagement than liking something. That's why you have, what's it called? That's why you have these uh, Twitter accounts that we've been farming online where their entire personality is hating on a different fandom. Their profile picture is Mushoku Tensei, but they talk only about ReZero. They don't talk about Mushoku Tensei. They only hate on it. Why? Because I told you the psychology in these kids. They're lonely, pathetic individuals that are so isolated and depressed. They want to feel some sort of connection, but they realize that rather than talking about something they enjoy, hating on someone else will get you more attention, and that gets the dopamine going. It's a way of feeling less numb than you usually are. It's really sad and pathetic, but that's kind of the mindset behind, you know, acts like this. He probably watched it without subs or sound. Uh, sure, sure. I think he watched it in dub, so B trades the I suppose part, you know, Kashira, sure, whatever. The only criticism I can make of ReZero and Tape is that he glazes Amelia too much. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck Amelia. Also, while the super fact super is cringy, shut and neat is into the point, there is uh, not all there is to him ever since the earlier arcs. Yes, he does indeed get better, but he still does some incredible, sh uh, incredible shit early on. Yeah, I'd say so. Arc 1, 2, 3, there's incredible moments of, you know, peaks going on. ReZero is just not a cynical show making fun of tropes. There's a genuine intention from the author to show that there is good and bad in all people. And even when you think you are worthless, you should not forget that you have many qualities and values too. This is episode 18, right? This is the perception of how much of a loser you think you are, but someone else views you as a hero. And that's Rem. And that's the whole point of like, you know, perspectives and, in you know, all you think is, you know, this loser mindset right now, but other people believe in you, right? Solid video. I think I did a pretty good solid job debunking Trigger Season 2 review in the comments. <laughs> I don't know if we're going to watch his Season 2 video. Like, the fact that he got so mad that he made this video, right? Uh, sorry, he made the stream and then privated it and, and, and then someone else uploaded it to an alt account. Like, he might have a fucking stroke next time I react to his videos. I actually kind of feel bad. Maybe I was a bit too mean. For sure I'm mean. I'm definitely an asshole. And... Rather than calling someone stupid, I should try to, like, say, the idea is stupid. Your opinion is stupid. That video is stupid. Rather than, you know, trying to think of, like, blaming it on, like, the individual, right? Maybe we should be more careful about that. It's also funny that from his YouTube account, <laughs> all he, like, it's his YouTube account, by the way. All his recommendation feed is just me. <laughs> One, two, three. We're also gonna watch that Diddy video, by the way. Subaru versus Diddy's disciples. We're gonna we're gonna watch that later, by the way. Maybe not today, but later. Though I think it is funny to see how he gets all defensive when it comes to a Demon Slayer. I think they made him cry once on a debate. Is he just a really soft person? Like, when I go in farming these rage bait channels, I expect them to have a thick skin because you're intentionally starting shit because you just want the attention. But, like, if you're genuinely upset by this, like, maybe this is not really made out for you, man. Kind of reminds me of a video I saw called Rage Shadow Legends Bad. When, if you watch the video, he calls the gameplay bad because he obviously doesn't like that about turn-based system gameplay. And it looks like it's his first time playing with that as well. 
Also, why are we talking about Raid Shadow Legends right now? <laughs> Listen, if you hate something because you don't align with it, that's perfectly fine, right? If you don't like turn-based games and you're playing a turn-based game, that's perfectly fine. If you don't like ReZero because the Isekai MC is so cringe, that's totally fine. But what I'm talking about in the video is the examples and the storytelling and how misinformed he is. Now, I don't enjoy ReZero. Like, I don't know why I just can't concentrate on it, but I don't think it's bad at all. Actually, I think it's quite the opposite. I think it has an interesting plot with an interesting MC, but it doesn't really grab my attention for some reason. So I usually just watch shortened down versions. Uh, sure, whatever. This video made me think, does Amelia love Super now, Schizo? This man, a whole career and channel is bait. One glance at all his videos makes it obvious. Trying to honestly address his point is a fool's errand. Well, here's the thing. I'm not trying to address his point. This is all stupid entertainment that we're just farming for the sake of just having dumb drama, creating some noise and making money off of it. I actually posted a comment in the video and that dude replied angrily to me by saying, you don't have any counterpoints to argue with my well-researched video. While people in the comments actually cooked his video and I was like dead. And that's the thing, right? I haven't seen this video, but pretty much everyone's telling me that was there for the live stream. Like it's just this. His response is just all insults, threats, and then screaming and just blabbering about his ignorant takes. That's it, right? Like, that's all you're doing. So it's like, you don't care about having a conversation. You never cared about having a conversation about the show. You only care about dunking on other people. And if your goal is to just, like, throw personal insults, what are we fucking doing? Now, the personal insults that I throw at him calling a retard monkey... That has context to build upon his misinformation, lack of uh, like awareness of ReZero. That actually has to do with the content. But if you're just saying, oh, you stinky as fuck, I bet you're a virgin. What does that have to do with this show? Like, talk about the show. I would have at least hope that the video would have some valid criticism, but it's just him repeating that this show is not for him in a convoluted way. An example of criticism of season one that I would have is the fact that Arc 1 Amelia acts like a completely different character than her other appearance from Arc 2 Plus, smarter, slightly more confident, etc. Because that was Satala. Woo! For the TP stuff, sure. Uh, sure. Oh, wait, I know this guy. He makes videos like this for literally everything, like his job is being a hater. Honestly, any criticism he has of ReZero shouldn't be taken seriously. Probably great farm content though, yes. Please watch season 2 video. <laughs> if this video gets 1000 likes, maybe I will. I mean, the video is right here. The, the video is literally right over here, okay? But like, I have a feeling that he's actually gonna have a mental breakdown if I react to this. Because he got so triggered off of this video. Another broken record brain dead person. I'm so mad when trash is a guy ReZero. You can tell the dude immediately decided on hating it and refused to focus on the story. Gotta say it's fine, but if you're not going to pay attention to the story, you can't speak on it if you've never tried to understand it. That's another thing, right? If you hate the show because the main character is cringe, that's all you gotta do, baby. Just say you don't like it. But like, if you're gonna talk about the show and you don't even know what you're talking about, of course people are gonna call you stupid. Yet another ReZero critique from a Rage Beat channel. Okay, now I'm convinced. This guy really needs to watch Toradora. Where the hell did this come from? Why Toradora? What was that? There's a part two. I, I know there's a part two. Bro wants Subaru to just leave and end of the story, huh? God, he's so picky. There's definitely a dishonest take. No offense to ReZero fans, but I'd make a strong argument that Steinskate is the best time travel anime of all time. Woo! 23 replies. <laughs> on, a, on maybe a different day. D different day will farm this comment thread, maybe. <laughs> I don't know, man. It feels kind of overrated to call ReZero a masterpiece when Death Note came out 2006, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 32 replies. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to read this shit. I'm not going to read this shit. But basically, to sum it up, I reacted to this guy's video talking about ReZero is not a masterpiece. And I was mean. I was an asshole. I called him a retard monkey. And... I apologize. I think that I should be more insulting the ideas and the opinions of the video rather than directing that insult to the person, right? I think I need to separate that. So I do apologize. If you genuinely thought that me calling you monkey was racist, I think that's a bit insane. You are an anonymous rage bait channel. Nowhere does it ever show your face. And if you are going to make the claim that I should know that you're black based on the way you talk, 
what does that mean? That I should racially profile you and say, oh, this is how a black person talks. So I'm going to call it what? That's insane. That is insane racism on another level. But again, if you're not a fan of my channel, if you don't know my content, I don't care. Skin color, race, man, woman, you are all monkeys and I am the monkey king. And if he does make an actual video on his main channel, maybe we can farm this, but... This video, I don't know if I'm going to watch this. 2 hours and 26 minutes. I'll link the video in the you know, description so you guys can check it out. But that's it from me. Take care.